joining me today is the Lloyd Minster Bobcats head coach and general manager, Nigel Dubay. Nigel, thank you for joining me. Thanks for having me, Evan. Now, Nigel, you guys just announced that on this upcoming Wednesday, you will be playing an inner squad game in Kitscotty. I guess, first of all, just tell me how you guys came to this decision and how you chose playing in Kitscotty. Uh, just one of those for us, um, you know, Kid Scotty is, is in the Alberta side of things and, and uh, with the spectators there, um, we're allowed 100 spectators and, and um, more people on the ice. So um, it's uh, close proximity to us in the city and, and uh, also gives our opportunity for us uh, to show off our 2020-21 our team here to our season ticket holders and our billets to start off with. I guess also just going to Kid Scotty and uh, spreading it out to different communities. How big is that for you guys? I know last year you went up to Onion Lake. Is this just sort of adding to that and building more of a community? community? Yeah, well, it's a big part, right? And, and being in the border city here with the surrounding little towns around and, and Kid Scotty, we have a, a ton of kids that come into our hockey school every year from Kid Scotty. So it's an awesome, awesome, awesome opportunity for us to get back in, in those communities, be a little more involved. Um, you know, and, and hopefully uh, we want boys and girls of all ages to continue on with hockey and if we can be the highlight for them there um, and give them something to be motivated and, and uh, driven for and, and we're happy to do that. Now, Nigel, it's been about half a year since a lot of your players have been in meaningful competition in a game versus other players. Uh, how big do you think this will be for the players? Well, we're going to set it up as, as a full game day. So um, guys are going to come in here. We're going to have an afternoon meeting just like we would uh, um, during the season. And then, uh, you know, go out there and they'll be split up into two teams. And then they enter into two different doors and, and away we go. So, um, you know, we're working on uh, creating profiles here for our guys in colleges too as well. So it's an opportunity for them to showcase themselves, uh, you know, for the next level. So uh, it's going to be fun. I think it's going to be a little bit of a change of pace uh, you know, this week we're getting back on the ice and guys are getting into it. And, and next week we're going to move to some of our system stuff and, and uh, you know, and then uh, see the guys compete on Wednesday night. Is there any expectations from you ahead of this game for the players? Well, I think it's big. I think it's big for our guys that uh, there's been a lot going on in 2020. And, and yeah, we're playing against each other. But I think it's, it's one of those that we got to turn the tempo up and, and get into it and, and get our mind into playing and um, you know, because if they tell us in a couple of weeks we're going, uh, we have to be ready to go. So if we can, uh, you know, get to that part of, of being a hockey player next week, and, and that's the start for us. Uh, there's going to be more games being released here, uh, inter squad games being released next week. And, um, you know, we're going to get into that uh, comp competitive vibe and, and uh, start playing things out. Now, looking at your training camp, where does this first exhibition game, this first inter squad game, sort of fit in on that timeline? Well, it's going to be a weekend for us, just over a week. So we'll have, you know, seven days here uh, with, with workouts. And, and uh, like I said, this week we're, we're going through and, and a lot of COVID protocol to go over with our players and stuff like that and make sure we check all that off. And then next week uh, we get into the video work of, of hockey side of the systems. And, and uh, so we'll be moving along and, and uh, we'll expect our guys to catch on to what we're teaching here uh, with the big core group from last year coming back. It's also an opportunity for them to showcase them and, and what they've done from last year and how they've advanced this year and, you know, more mature and, and uh, a full summer to prepare for it and, um, you know, high expectations. Now, I guess final question from myself, Nigel, on the lighter side, will you guys be rocking those new beautiful jerseys? It'll be the breakout. So it'll be the breakout of the, the new jerseys. Uh, you know, a lot of positive comments on them, and it'll be the first time they're wearing. I think for our guys, too, it, it gives you a little bit of the goosebumps when you're putting on those new unis and, and they're crisp like that. And uh, I think it's an exciting time for them and, and an opportunity to showcase them as well. They'll be getting a, a little bit of swagger back to their step. Nigel, it's always a pleasure having you joining me. Uh, for everybody watching, next Wednesday, game in Kitscotty. Thanks, Evan.